What's up guys, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Today is actually the first game of a five day road trip for me, which is gonna end up in Atlanta at the very first two games ever at SunTrust Park. I'm already looking forward to that, super excited, so make sure you don't miss that video. But in terms of today, right here, right now, this stadium is probably my second favorite on the East Coast behind Camden Yards. There's a lot of room to spread out in the outfield, lots of seats, the balls really fly out of here. But the problem today is that the Mets are in town and they are only about you know 100 miles away, New York to Philadelphia, so it's probably gonna be more crowded, lots of Mets fans, Matt Harvey is on the hill, people always come out to see him. So I don't know if it's gonna be a huge numbers day, double digits, that's always the goal, but as always, I'm just gonna try to snag as many baseballs as possible, so let's head on inside. All right, the gates are open. There were just a couple of lefties in the cage, and I see a righty is up there bunting now, so getting ready for some action out here in the seats. Well, how about that? All right, I'm on the board thanks to a series of very lucky ricochets. That ball actually tipped off the glove of my friend Rich. He's six foot five, so if he can't reach it, nobody can. And it just kind of rattled around and dribbled down the stairs right to me. A little bit out of breath, but it feels good. Got about 12 minutes of Phillies BP, a little less than one group. Not a whole lot of action out here. I feel pretty lucky to have just gotten one baseball. I hope the Mets do better. You know, I just did a video from City Field and talked about how the Mets don't really hit all that well in batting practice, but this is a much hitter, friendlier ballpark than City, so there could be more action for the Mets. Yoenis Cespedes had him played perfectly all the way at the back of the section because it's really crowded down in front. So it always feels good when I make a, a strategic decision and it pays off. Cespedes has just been slugging colossal home runs. He hit two balls onto the concourse in center field behind the seats. One even bounced up onto that walkway where the clock is below the flagpoles. I've never seen that before. The right field seats just opened and I really think this is the place to be. There's three lefties in this Mets group. Curtis Granderson, Lucas Duda, and Jay Bruce. I mean, I feel like there could be at least a dozen home run balls that land out here in the next 10 minutes. backed up on that one and I should have gone forward and played the ricochet off the advertisement but it's tough to be that precise in your position. Oh. I should have had that one. I'm back in left field now for the Mets final group of BP. Right field was not bad, there was some action out there. I caught a Jay Bruce home run and then barely missed another. I was just kind of drifting up the stairs when I should have been hustling a bit more, so I feel pretty stupid about that, but overall not bad. Plenty of baseballs to go around today in batting practice. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised with how the Mets hit. I got three baseballs, they were all home runs, which is, you know, a little below average for me, but still pretty decent, and I guess to be expected given the size of the crowd. Also, I have a friend here today, Rich, and check out what he brought with him. Last fall, I was approached by the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum about doing a bobblehead of me, and so this is actually a thing. They made 500 of them. Rich picked one up, and this will be the very first one, I think, that I've ever signed, so that's kind of cool. I got Diamond Club tickets for tonight, so with this wristband, I'm able to come up here to the Hall of Fame Club, where I think maybe I was here once like a decade ago. So just kind of checking it out. This is a glass case here with some Mike Schmidt stuff. You know, he was one of the guys that I just loved to watch growing up, so pretty cool to be up here again. Game plan tonight. I'm going for foul balls. That's why I got these Diamond Club tickets. And right now, 
I'm in my favorite foul ball spot in the stadium. There's a lot of standing room, so if they hit one, I should be able to move a bit for it. Tonight's pitching matchup, Clay Buckholtz and Matt Harvey, very favorable for foul balls. Both of these guys have a ratio of grounders to fly balls. It's pretty even, so I do expect a good number of balls to fly back up over the screen. Playing the odds here, moving back and forth for righties and lefties, that'll definitely increase my chances if I'm always in the best spot no matter who's hitting. The Mets just put up a three spot in the top of the first inning. And this guy over here is actually my favorite type of fan. Tell the camera what you just asked me a minute ago. I told you to jump in front of me in case the ball comes because I don't want to get hit. Perfect. I love it. And I told him, I got you covered. Don't worry. So I appreciate it, my friend. It's going to work out perfectly. Awesome. That was uh, Yoenis Cespedes. He's hooking it up for me today. Fourth ball total and my first foul ball during a game this season. The pitch after Cespedes hit this to me, he drilled a home run just inside the foul ball down the line. So, nice turn of events right there. It's the top of the sixth inning, and I want to tell you two quick things. First of all, it is a slugfest here tonight. The Mets are on top 10-2. to They've hit five home runs, including three by Cespedes. Now, you remember this foul ball that I got by Cespedes? I've decided to give this away as a contest on Instagram. So, rule number one, got to follow me there, Zach underscore Hample. Then what you got to do is look for the post where I show the video clip of me getting this ball. All right, reply and tag at least two other people. I'll look through the replies, I'll pick someone, and that's how you can win, so good luck. So final here in Philadelphia, the Mets won the game 14 to 4. They got 20 hits and hit 7 home runs, but the story of the day by far was Yoannis Cespedes. Right from the start, he was putting on an absolute clinic in batting practice for just launching home runs all over the place. And I caught one in deep left field. And then during the game, he hit three home runs and a double and a foul ball, which I got in the fourth inning. I'll show it to you. Here it is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I said I'm going to give this away in an Instagram contest. So follow me there, Zach underscore Hample. Look for the post where I talk about this, and good luck. I ended up with four baseballs total today, and I do count the ones I give away. So my lifetime total is now 9,509. I know it's early in the season. I've only gotten 34 balls so far, but I am on pace to hopefully reach 10,000. And uh, lots of games coming up, lots of videos. So if you enjoy them, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. Wait a second, I'm still here. I just totally lost my head and forgot about the fifth and final ball I got down by the dugout, little toss up by Joe West. There was so much commotion after the game, I just spaced out. So five total, lifetime is now 9,510. Okay.